Hey, what's up guys? My name is Seth and I make videos for business and also for fun. I'm 20 years old. It's not so long, but it is a long time of not knowing someone. And so, well, I'm here to catch you up. So I was born and raised in a Christian family with two amazing parents and I have one older brother. I can genuinely say that I've had a very great life. I'm very grateful for the life I've lived and if I were to die tomorrow, I'd be happy. So being raised Christian, I believed in God, you know, but there was nothing at first that cemented that for me. and. It wasn't until I had an experience with God on 4-20-2012. And so on 4-20 of 2012, I was supposed to go to my best friend's house to smoke weed for my first time. Mind you, I believe I was in 8th grade. I believe 8th grade had just ended and it was the summer of 8th grade and around the time. And I was, I was supposed to go to my friend's house, my best friend's house, to try marijuana for my first time, right? But my parents, being great parents, they drug me to this event called The Burn. Man, it was a 24-hour worship event. So my parents drug me there, and I went, and I sat there. I watched the clock begin to tick, and I, real I realized I had to make a decision. To stay there and just sit in misery and boredom, or... Do what it is that I see everyone around me doing. And that is having an amazing time. A genuinely amazing time. I, I'm seeing people laughing so hard that they're falling over. I'm seeing the pastor's wife uh, scooching on her butt across the aisle because she can't even walk. Because she's laughing so hard and so full of joy. And, and I'm just confused. I'm like, man, like this place is so full of laughter. This place is so full of love. And I couldn't help but want that. And so I started praying. I told God, I'm not leaving here tonight without experiencing you. I'm going to do my best to um, open my heart up to you, God. And not long after that, uh, my mom told me, hey, come over here. And she was in this circle with a bunch of Christian women leaders in the church. Basically, I just they had me sit in the middle and they all prayed over me. And not too long into it, I started feeling really dizzy, really light, and, and I was kind of confused. And so I, I opened my eyes, and, and, the, and the pastor's wife looked at me, and she just said, he feels it. <laughs> and we all just started busting up laughing, and I almost fell over. I was like, fall a little, I fell over kind of when I was sitting down. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And I just felt like the more I laughed, the more I began to, to float and just feel so light. And that's the first experience I ever had with God. That was 2012 on 420. And I was going into my freshman year of high school. High school is hard enough trying to find your identity. And here I am huh, claiming to know Jesus. So going into high school, I... I did my best. I did my best to tell the world about Jesus, right? People didn't like that. People really don't like you shoving their beliefs in their face, and I totally understand. Basically, you know, I would tell everyone, why don't you just stop what you're doing? Just stop drinking, stop smoking, stop cussing. And I thought it was easy because I hadn't ever done any of those things at the time. I, I really hadn't. And um, I had other issues, but not those ones. Because of it, I lost many friends. All my friends. Uh, I had one friend, and he went to a different high school. So it's hard to hang out and got kind of lonely. And I had a couple other friends, but we never hung out outside of school. So the first two years of high school was a bit lonely. Fast forward to the summer after my sophomore year of high school. And I start to get lonely. Not only lonely, I I've been lonely. So through that loneliness, I began to get bitter. Uh, I was getting bitter towards God. 
and telling him, God, I'm doing everything you've asked. I'm, which I wasn't. But I felt like, God, I'm doing everything you ask. Why aren't you blessing me? Why don't I have friends? Like, why am I here alone? I was mad at God. I was mad at God. And so I made the decision. How do I get my friends back? Well, what are my friends doing? Smoking weed? Party? So I started smoking weed. And guess what? You're never going to guess. I gained all my friends back and then some. Like times a hundred. <laughs> I got my friends back. Woo! That was cool. So yeah, I, I lost my friends from being very preachy about my beliefs. And then I gained my friends uh, by settling and doing what I knew I never wanted to do. Regardless, I had built up an addiction to smoking, smoking weed. And it's something that I've struggled with to this day. Let me say that this year, I smoked about 10 times, maybe 15. And that is really good for me. My goal was to go, oh, you know, I've been trying to go a whole year without smoking. Hasn't happened yet. But I'm definitely believing 2019 will be the year. And I don't struggle with it anymore. Not on the day-to-day. -day. Sometimes I, I fall back into it. It will be a day or two. And then I'll remember that I don't like it. And I'll get back to my normal life. But on the flip side, I have struggled with pornography since fifth grade. Um, man, why am I telling you this? Because maybe you struggle with the same thing. We all have struggles, and I'm coming clean. I'm coming clean. Me, Seth Tadlock, at the age of 15, I experienced God for the first time. And hey, look at me. I still struggle. But here's the thing. I have seen the impossible become possible literally before my eyes. God, Jesus, Holy Spirit is real and he loves you. He loves you with everything he has, everything that he is. God is love, actually. My main goal in life is to encourage people to keep trying, to keep pushing. Um, I've struggled with depression since I want to say junior year of high school. Ironically, that was the same year I started smoking. Not sure how they go together, but I believe in some way they do. After graduation, I was the happiest person ever because I was ready to get out of there. And well, now I'm just trying to figure out how to maneuver life. Trying to figure out my calling and uh, what God wants me to do. So I thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this. Um, I'm really praying that no one judges me too harshly for this. And may this be a conversation piece for people who are in the public eye, people who have put themselves out there to uh, be honest. I haven't posted a video in a while because I've been battling depression. But it's kind of my choice. I start to do bad when I stop spending so much time with God. But when I'm with God, everything changes. And so this video is many things. A confession, me admitting you, my faults, my wrongs. A testimony telling you guys Man, I experienced God, and my life has been changed. But it's only as changed as I let it be. And so with that, this is also a challenge. A challenge for 2019 to be the year of freedom. God's challenging me to spend time with Him every day. 
if I did that, if I spent time with God every day in 2019, I could go the whole year without sinning. And I believe that. We mess up, yeah. But God doesn't mess up. And if we can renew our minds, if we can spend time with God in the mornings and the night and all throughout the day and let his desires become our desires, we could be unstoppable. Jesus is the best friend, the best friend, as well as my savior. There's a lot that I've gone through. And so I don't want to be fake and say that everything's all good. But everything that God has created is good. And I can choose to avoid anything other than that. Man, so I'm glad we got that out of the way. I hope you guys don't hate me. And I hope you guys can just see my heart. My goal is to be Jesus to other people. God can't use the proud. God uses the broken and he makes them whole. I am as whole as I believe I am. You are as whole as you believe you are because Jesus has made you whole. You just have to receive it. You just have to walk in it. it way more things go right in this earth every day, every second that things go wrong. And I think we miss that. My goal is to go this whole year without watching porn, and without smoking weed. Be praying for me. And, you know, I already feel free from it. I feel free right now. But, you know, the second I let my mind go a negative route is the second I fall into those things. Whether it's a day, whether it's a week, I don't know. So, be praying for me, and I'll be praying for you. And let's be here for each other and be honest with each other. And man, let's not beat around the bush because we have some growing to do. We have some healing to do. <laughs> God is using my weakness and he's going to make it into my strength. And I believe that. And God loves you. And I love you. So here's to the year 2019. May it be the year of freedom for me and for you. I've went through a lot and I'm sure you have too, but God is good all the time.